Okay, hey YouTube, it's your girl Razia J and I'm back with another video. If this is your very first time landing on my channel and seeing my face, welcome. I'm glad that you are here. And if you have been rocking with Ray, if you have been rocking with Ray, thank you so much for your continual support. It means the world to me. So guys, if you are here and you see my shirt, then you know what time it is. This video is a video that's all about Fordham. I have gotten so many questions about my time at Fordham, the program, do I recommend it? And I felt like this was a video I wanted to do either way. But you guys asking me these questions really pushed me to compile some information so that I can share. I was at one point doing my little updates, but grad school was grad schooling and I had to stop. So as of today, May 9th, 2022, I am officially done with graduate school. I took almost eight days to get my composure and get myself together so that I can record this video for you guys because guys, it was emotional just thinking about the fact that graduate school is over. So if you are a BSW student or if you are an undergraduate student that is considering Fordham for your master's in social work degree, stay tuned. This video is going to have all the information that you need to make an educated choice. I do want to preface this by saying that this was my experience. I do not speak for the entire Fordham student body population. I am speaking on the behalf of Razia, my experiences and the few friends that I questioned and asked how they thought about the experience, that's the lens that you guys are gonna get this from. So first and foremost, I want to share the process with you before I get into my feedback, okay? Okay, so if you are interested in Fordham's Graduate School of Social Service, Master's in Social Work, whether that is a traditional social work degree that's two years or an advanced standing degree that's could be eight months or a year and a half. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So really quickly, I got some notes. Y'all know when I pull out my phone, that's because your girl has been working and researching. So I do have some notes and I wanted to just do this in order of like what happens, like the steps, how it how it progresses. So you have been researching graduate schools. You are considering a degree in social work. You are considering your master's degree specifically in social work. You started researching schools and you landed upon Fordham's university's website and you was like, OK, this school sounds like a good school you do a little bit more research you find out that they are in the top 10 percent of social work programs so that means worldwide fordham university is known for their social work program and people think that it is an amazing school and a great opportunity so for me this is what i did and this is what you will have to do if you want to apply you will have to start the admissions process the one thing i would say about fordham's admissions department they are chef's kiss top notch high speed whatever you want to call them they are really 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 good is my battery dying is my battery dying i hope not they are high speed i had the pleasure of working with jennifer from that department and i would say this from the very beginning before i could even start the application process once i said i was considering the school she was on top of it communicating with me asking me questions so yes guys jennifer was on top of it she communicated really well um we emailed a lot she called me a lot um she answered a lot of questions she included me in so many info sessions every time they had a new another info session she would reach out say hey join ask the questions that you have and i thought that that I thought for me that was really what I needed going into a graduate school program because I already had experience with higher education and how laid back and hands off some programs could be that I knew that I wanted to feel like I was paying good money for an education and I was getting good service in return and that's what that admissions department did they went above and beyond and I would recommend them just off of their admissions office that office is stellar top-notch whatever training that they have implemented they should share 
that with other schools. I'm sorry if you hear the lawnmower, my grass is getting um, mowed and this video has to be recorded. So the admissions department is very hands-on. They communicate, they communicate, they communicate. After you, sp after you speak to the admissions department, then you start to consider, okay, I wanna do this. You start working on your application and that application it working on your autobiographical statement, AKA a personal statement. There's questions and there's prompts. If you are doing the advanced standing program, I believe that there's one additional question that you do have to answer. I think there was like four prompts and then for um, advanced standing, I had to do five. Um, you have to submit your transcript. You don't need the official transcript to apply for the program, but if you are going to accept your seat, you will have to submit the official transcript. You need one letter of recommendation and you need a completed resume as well as paying your application fee. For me, I did not pay the application fee because I got a merit-based waiver for my application fee, so I did not pay for the application fee. And if you are doing the advanced stand-in program, this is something that you have to pay attention to. You do have to submit independently of your application a field evaluation for your mid-year evaluation. So if you are in a current BSW program and you are considering the advanced standing program, you do have to provide them with your field evaluation. And there is no GRE to get into Fordham's Masters of Social Work program. I do know that there's other universities that do require a GRE. I applied to three schools, Fordham, Columbia, and Syracuse, and neither of them requested a GRE. Okay application is done done i would say this fordham responded to me really 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 quickly in comparison to another school i applied to two schools on the same day i found out from fordham in three weeks the other school they took about eight weeks okay so the tracks that they have fordham offers an on-campus track um a full-time two years um advanced standing program oh no so the tracks that they um they have Fordham has the on-campus track, the hybrid track that, that is partnered with Malloy College, and they have the joint MSW as well as an online, fully online MSW program. The only thing that differs from these four tracks or campus locations, as I say, I shouldn't say tracks really, is that on campus, you can opt into a certificate program. If you want to graduate with your master's in social work and you want to have a designated certificate, whether that is in clinical um, childhood support or whatever it is, you want a certificate. They offer two. And if you are at the online program, you can, if you are in the online program, you cannot opt into that. But if you are on campus, you can opt into that. They also have three locations. I believe it's Manhattan, Westchester and the Bronx. And then they have the Malloy campus, which is on Long Island, if you are familiar with New York. Okay, so how long the program takes? If you are doing the full-time program, that is two years, four semesters. If you are doing the full-time advanced standing program, which is what I did because you already have a bachelor's in social work, that's eight months and two semesters. If you are doing the part-time Full, the part-time program, that's the traditional program, no advanced standing, that is four years and eight semesters. And if you are doing the part-time advanced standing program, that's two years and four semesters. All of these tracks, programs, um, all of these um, tracks basically are going to add up to 33 credits. So whether you space it out and you take one class, one class, one class a term, you are still going to end up with 33 credits when it's all said and done. In my program, the advanced standing program, it was eight months and I took five classes a semester, five. I have a friend who I met in the program. She is in the two year advanced standing program and she basically takes two classes a semester. So she graduates in December where I graduate in May and she started the same exact time as me. Okay, the courses, I would say this, Fordham's courses are really, 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 really detailed and they're really good. 
I took a lot of amazing classes. I took a comparative social work class that taught me all about the United Nations. I just got out of a staffing and supervising class that taught me how to do nonprofit leadership. I took a CBT class, which is standard, I guess, in all programs. But this CBT class to me in particular was very high speed. I was able to take like a side four hour course, I think. It was like a webinar type of thing. And I got this little trained in CBT certificate. Now I'm not certified in CBT, but I got trained in CBT. And I thought that was pretty neat and high speed. Um, I would say this, your first semester as a student in Fordham, you are going to get left with the bottom of the barrel. That happened to me. It's not that the classes were not good, the classes were all great classes. I loved my professors, but my first semester, I was stuck taking classes at eight o'clock on a Saturday morning. And that was, that was, that was rough. Like, if I'm honest, that was rough. Them eight o'clock in the morning classes on a Saturday was rough, 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 rough. And for Fordham, you have to make sure that all your work is submitted. Your async work is submitted 24 hours before your live class. So that means Fridays, I was hustling and bustling to make sure that my class work was all submitted by Friday at 8 a.m., which really meant Thursday night, your girl was not getting any sleep because I am not on top of schoolwork like that, I am a procrastinator by design and by nature, and I procrastinate. So those 8 a.m. classes was a struggle for your girl. Struggle, struggle, struggle. I will say this, after getting into the program and getting my fancy little congratulations email with the confetti and all of that jazz that really boosted my ego, I would say that the field office um, was trash. But my success advisor and admissions were chef's kiss. Shout out to Sydney. She was amazing. Shout out to Jennifer. She was amazing. Top notch. The field office now. They're going to send you this documentation and they're going to ask you what you want to do. But what I realized is that they don't care about anything that's on the paper. And this is not just from Razia. Students in my field class were complaining how Fordham if you were not doing work study, they literally were putting you in placements anywhere. Like it was at a point kind of insulting that they had you fill out this form and they really didn't care. Now with me, I got a first offer of a field placement and I took it and that fell through. And something that really pissed me off with the field office is that they knew or my field liaison knew that that placement fell through and when she called my phone a week before school started she didn't have any options for me she was just basically saying like oh we have until november for you to drop the class so i'm gonna try to figure something out and i was like figure something out no and thankfully for me i am very proactive I started looking for an internship and that's how I ended up with my internship now. Not because of Fordham's field office. They helped me do zilch. Really, they gave me an internship and it was whack, crappy. I didn't even go to the internship. They never even reached out to me and said anything like, I have all of their Google Drive still, all of their security and sensitive information still. Of course, I deleted these things and I removed myself from these drives, but they never did it on their end to make sure that I was protected as a student because if a placement is waiting until a week before school start or before my start date to say that, oh, I don't want students anymore. As a field office, you need to vet who you're doing partnerships with and stuff like that. And that was my only gripe with the field office. And I can't even say it's with the entire field office. It was really with my liaison. I just think that she really wasn't doing the best job. And thankfully for her, she was met with someone like me who is initiative and will take the initiative. She was met with someone like me who will take the initiative and get things done. So that was the field office, but I still got a field placement and it was bomb and it was popping and I learned a lot. When it comes to the faculty at Fordham, they are amazing. I feel like most of the faculty either works at Fordham and NYU, Fordham and Columbia or Fordham and... Um, what other school is that? Hunter, I believe. Hunter, Silberman, Hunter. And the faculty that I encountered, especially my professors, they were so good. They were so gracious. 
they literally gave me space to grow as a social worker and as a person in this profession without beating me with just book knowledge. They literally made it so practical that I felt like I knew what I was doing. And I, this is big for me to say because I took a assessment and diagnostic class, which was like basically where you diagnose and use the DSM-5 and that's standard up across the board for all social work programs. But for me, I am anti-clinical, well not anti-clinical, but I'm on a macro track. So those are things that don't really speak my love language or my academic strengths, right? And my professor, um, Dr. Seeley was so good at making me feel confident that I literally started towards the end of the semester spitting out diagnoses like I knew what I was talking about. And I really like that because I feel like Fordham University students are really affirmed by their professors if you lean into that. My field professor, um, Professor Madeline, was amazing. Like literally, I feel like I'm ready to enter into this profession and I also feel like I'm ready to take my licensure and that is something that is important because I know a lot of people leave graduate school and they have to study so much for their licensure exam or they feel like they're not prepared. Now, am I saying that I'm not going to study? No, that would be foolish. But what I'm saying is that I feel like with the knowledge that I was given and afforded at Fordham University, or I should say the knowledge that I paid for, the education that I paid for, I feel like I'm confident enough to go and take my licensure in the coming months and feel that I will succeed and be successful taking it. Um, when it comes to extra when it comes to extracurricular activity, I was able to be on the activism committee. And I felt like that was a really good opportunity for me because being an online student, you can really close yourself into this bubble of just like, I'm in my bubble and I'm just doing what I have to do to get by. And tapping into that committee and being on the committee and sitting in for calls and getting involved and planning events, it really gave me an opportunity to connect with students that I don't no, and I probably wouldn't have connected with based on my classes, especially with the faculty like Dr. Melissa McCardo. I was able to connect with her and she's an amazing social worker, amazing individual. And if I did not join that committee, I would have never met this amazing person. So I say all of this to say that with Fordham, they give you opportunities to lean in and to join committees, even if you are not on campus and I really did like that and I appreciated that so 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 much and now I'm just going to tell you about my overall experience I think that Fordham was the best choice for me I know that I have a video talking about applying to other schools and I think ultimately when it comes to a, a program whether it's undergraduate or graduate feeling confident that this school is the best choice and the best fit for you is what you need to utilize as you're making that final concrete decision. I know people who went to schools just because it, the cost was good or just because a friend went there and they hated the experience. And I think that that can happen even if you are sure that you want to attend a school. But I think that when you do your research and you feel like this is a fit for you that there's less um, hiccups along the way. I think that I had a great time at Fulton. I personally will recommend Fordham's MSW program because I think, it, I think that it's a good program. I think that not only is the name a good name and a reputable program, but I think that the program, the, the meat, the knowledge, the, the structure, what you are getting is well worth the money. I enjoyed the 2-4 platform. I love the fact that I was able to interact with my classmates. I love the fact that it was an online program, but I had live sessions. Oh my goodness. I really was dreading an online program because I did not want to do a module based program. Now, did we have modules? Yes, I had async work and I had a lot of it to do, but I love the fact that I was able to log in once a week and see the people in my class face to face and really put a face behind the name and a personality behind this individual. And it gave me an opportunity to really feel like I was connected with my professors. I was confident calling them, emailing them because I felt like I knew them. And the only other time that I have experienced that in a social work program 
was when I took a hybrid class in my undergraduate program. I literally drove four hours to be in a hybrid class and it was the best experience for me because I met my professor and Professor Parnell is my favorite, favorite professor of all time and I still talk to her to this day and that was two and a half, three years ago. So I think that Fordham did a really good job integrating the online and the in-person experience so that no one feels left out or no one feels isolated and no one feels like they're swimming in an ocean by themselves. I was able to make friends. I was able to leave the program with amazing colleagues and connections. And I think that in-person live class on Zoom really, really did do the program justice. I say all of this to say, if you are considering Fordham, it is an amazing program. You will be met with great opportunities. If you want to do research, if you want to do clinical, whatever it is, they have something for everyone. I think that Fordham had a very great variety of classes. They had grief classes. They had um, suicide um, classes. Like they had classes that were in detail for just family therapy or children's therapy. And I like that their classes wasn't basic. You know, they met the criteria that you need to be a social worker, but they had a little bit of umph to it. I really wish I could have taken the, um, I really wish I could have taken the, what is happening? I really wish I could have taken the, um, grief class, but I couldn't. So if you are considering Fordham, this is your push to just do it. Jump in do your application i do believe that i did see on the website that they are still accepting applications so if you are considering fordham university let's go put in your application tell them razia sent you now nah, don't tell them because they don't know me like they're probably like who sent you if you are considering fordham and you have any questions that you want to ask in detail hit me up hit me up hit me up but this is my public statement saying i recommend Fordham University for their master's in social work program. So until next time, I will see you soon.